When you guys get a project from Central Office's e-construction group, uh, it's going to come, at least when you get a schedule project, it's going to come set up looking something like this. So a couple of things come with a schedule project here. As you can see, you're going to get the county maps for the counties that are listed on that schedule. You're going to get the cut sheets extracted out of the back of the contract, and those will be included in there as effectively your plan sheets for the contract. And then you'll also get the schedule totals there at the end. And then any extra um, notes or something in particular that we thought looked valuable out of the contract, if we can recognize that, we'll grab that and add that in there as well. So all of that's there, uh, and as a reminder, you guys can filter through things over here. Uh, so if you have multiple counties on a project, you can filter down based on counties. Look at them that way. This project only has one, but that's an option for you there. Note that I'm looking at this on a computer right now, but it looks very similar to how it would on an iPad. You actually have a few more features on the iPad than you do on a laptop. So additionally, with the schedule work projects, you're going to get your proposal in the um, documents folder of your project as well. You won't get the signed contract because the team won't have that available when we do the work to actually set the project up yet, uh, but that can be added by any admin on your project once it's out there. Um, so you guys will get this, and then of course all the spec, the specs and standards and things like that as well. Additionally, with schedule work projects, you're gonna have a couple of forms that are gonna come standard. That's gonna be your inspect inspector daily report, of course your paving checklist, your work zone safety inspection form. And then we're also working on getting the a Virginia State Police tracking log made available as well. Uh, and for those of you guys that have seen it, the new collaborate feature that's available on or within our field reports comes standard on all new projects and new forms as well. So be aware of that. All right, now let's take a look at how schedule work projects have been using plan grid specifically. I already showed you more generically kind of what projects were set up like within the plan grid system. Now I want to highlight some projects that have been doing a really great job with this. So first, uh, this is a project in Fredericksburg here. Uh, as you can see, they're using tasks to track a lot of items uh, or a lot of issues that are happening on the project. Uh, and using that uh, amongst their inspectors to take good pictures, take notes. They track the issue, they open it up when the issue occurs, uh, and then they close it out when, uh, when the issue has been resolved. And typically what they're doing with these tasks is they're actually putting those little stamps on the task sheet uh, within the plan grid system, uh, and that way they know exactly where it's occurring as well. Another good example here of work on with a schedule work project in the Fredericksburg district. Uh, they are using the work zone safety checklist uh, very effectively within the tool. So for every day of work, they're filling out one of these work zone safety checklists within plan grid. And then they are also using the asphalt paving inspection checklist within the system as well to, um, to track what's going on and make sure that they're not missing anything. And both of those forms come standard on all projects like we mentioned before. This is another good example of schedule work here that you can see. Uh, this is a Richmond district project. What they're doing here uh, is they're taking a lot of pictures within the tool and you can see over there on the left, they're marking up photos within the camera that's native to the iPad itself. So they'll take the picture in, a pl in an iPad camera, mark it up as they need to, and then import that picture into plan grid and they're referencing it to their report as well. So great use of the tool there. On the right side, you can also see where not only are they marking up those pictures, but they're also stamping those pictures to the cut sheets that are relevant to that picture so that we have a better idea of what it is that we're looking at. Because just a loose picture in the file doesn't necessarily tell us a whole lot, but when you can actually reference that picture to either a report or a cut sheet, it becomes a lot more clear as to what we're looking at. Another great thing that they're doing there is they are taking screenshots. So they're opening up Google Maps of where they're at on that particular day or night of work. They're taking a screenshot of Google Maps and then they're marking it up within the Google Maps. They're highlighting specific routes to mark off what, what stretch of road was done on a given day. Uh, so they'll just screenshot it within Google Maps highlight across the stretch of road that they were actually working on that evening and then add that as a stamp with a t and, and they'll name the stamp to, with the date of uh, when they were working on that specific stretch of road. So great use of the tool right there as well. This is another good example from the Richmond District of work that's being done. A couple of things I want to draw your attention to. One is they're again marking up pictures within the plan grid tool 
um, and with the iPad cameras. Uh, and then another thing that they're doing over on the right side there is making notes on the sheet. Uh, so you can see they're marking what was actually used versus what was planned versus what we was used. Uh, and then down there in the bottom right, they're using task stamps and photo stamps on the cut sheets as well.